help. I started to write an ebook and I wanted to publish it online and offline, but I am facing the issue of adding a header and footer to the PDF document. How do I add a header and a footer to a PDF? Sure, the PDF element team is here to help. In today's video, I will show you how to add headers and footers to PDF documents on Windows and Mac OS. Hi, I'm Veronica and welcome to the PDF Element channel. Our focus is to create helpful PDF tutorials and videos for increasing your productivity and efficiency. If you are an editor or a writer, you might find this video particularly beneficial to your workflow. This video is suitable for those audiences who have to deal with book publishing, magazines, novels and other large documents. But first, let me share with you some PDF knowledge about headers and footers. What is header and footer in PDF? Headers and footers are believed to be an element that features professionalism in the document and are utilized to cover specific details mentioning the document. In general, headers and footers display information like page numbers, dates and file names on the top and bottom of your documents. You can customize your header and footer's size, position, opacity and formatting properties. They are most significant for individuals who regularly write reports, journals or other essential documents. Headers and footers can carry the company logo or slogan to give documents a more professional look in the office as well. Students and researchers need to insert their names and document title to published work to make it easier to get published. Now, if you want to explore how to add headers and footers to PDFs, the following section will discuss two methods for adding PDF header and footer on Windows and Mac OS. Also, be sure to watch till the end for a bonus method explaining how to add your logo to the header or footer of your PDF. So let's get started. How to add a header and footer to a PDF on Windows and Mac OS. So in this video, first we will go over the methods of adding a header and footer using PDF element for Windows. We will discuss two methods. Number one, the basic method of adding headers and footers. And number two, the productive method of adding multiple headers and footers to a single PDF document. Next, we will discuss how to add header and footer to a PDF using PDF element for macOS, as well as go over a pro tip of using the batch process to apply header and footer to multiple PDFs at once. Be sure to stay till the end of the video for a bonus part in which I'll show you how to add an image or a logo to the header or footer in a PDF. How to add header and footer to PDFs using PDF element for Windows. Let's start with the basic method, adding a header and footer to PDF. First, launch PDF element by double clicking on the icon on your desktop. Then open your PDF document by going to open files and selecting it from its folder location. To add a header and footer, make sure that you are in the edit tab and then go down to header and footer. From the drop down menu, choose add header and footer and then click on this plus icon in the pop-up window to create a new template. In the text box right here, you can enter your header and footer. So I'm going to type in Wondershare PDF element. And you can see that the header pops up on the preview right here. Right now we can't really see it because it's on top of the text. So we need to change the positioning. To change that, head over to the positioning tab and you can adjust it via these arrows right here. So I'm going to move it to the top and then move it more to the left. You can also change things like the font of your header. For example, let's change it to this one. You can also change the font size to make it bigger, as well as customize the color, make it bold, italic, and underline it. Once you're happy with your header, save it, and it will show up on the template right here, and you will have a preview of it here. Now to create the footer, click on the plus icon one more time, change the position to the lowest square, and type in the text for your footer. For this one, I'm going to just put down preview, and you can see that the footer has been created and you can see it on the preview page right here. So once again, go into position to change where it appears by pressing on the arrow keys to adjust the position. And you can also customize the font, the font size, the color, as well as make it bold, italic and underline it. Okay. Once you're happy with that, press save and make sure that you have both the header and the footer ticked so that they are both applied. And when you have done that, click on the apply button. So you can now see that the header has been applied. And if we scroll down, 
you will notice that we also have the footer. And that is true for all of the pages of the PDF document. And here's a pro tip, if you want to add a macro like a date or a page number, you can also do that in the header and footer by going to header and footer in the edit tab and then clicking on the create icon again. Then going to the macro tab and clicking on the add page number button. You can then choose the position of your page number. So for example, we're going to put this on the lower right side and we're going to adjust the position. So we're going to lower it slightly so that it doesn't collide with our text and move it a bit more to the right. You can also adjust the format of your macro so you can change everything, the font, the font size and the color as well. Once you're happy with that, click save and then click apply. Now if we scroll down, you can see that we have our page numbers applied to each page of the document. If you want to make changes to any of the headers or footers, simply go into header and footer and then click on edit header and footer. From here, you can click on your individual templates and as you hover over them, you'll have the choice to either make edits or delete them altogether. So for example, let's go into the Wondershare PDF element template and let's change it so that it's no longer bold then hit save and then click on apply. So that will add the changes to your PDF document. Productive method, how to add multiple headers and footers to a PDF using PDF element for Windows. The first part was about how to add a simple header and footer. In this part, I will show you how to add different headers and footers to a single PDF document using PDF element for Windows. Using PDF element, you're able to apply headers and footers to even odd and specific pages. Plus you can use different formats at the same time. So first open your document in PDF element by going to open files and selecting your file from its file folder location. Then head into edit and then go into header and footer and click on add header and footer. So you can see here we have the previous templates that we've created. So for example, if we wanted to add the Wondershare PDF element header template only to specific pages of the document, we would go into the edit button, go into page range, and then change it to only appear on even pages, for example. Okay, so I'm going to save it this. Okay, and then I'm going to create another header to appear on the odd pages. So I'm going to click on the create icon and type in my header text. I'm going to once again go into page range and change it to odd pages. Then click save and select apply. So you can now see that on the odd pages we have example. And then if we go down to the second page, which is, which is an even page, we have Wondershare PDF element and that repeats on all the following pages as well. You can also add headers to specific pages by going into header and footer, clicking on add header and footer, clicking on the create icon, typing in your header text and then going to page range and selecting the range yourself. So for example, I only want this one to appear on page one. Let's change the position so it doesn't clash with our previous header. So it should appear on this right side right here. Then click save and click apply. So you can see that the header has appeared right here and does not appear on any of the other pages. How to add header and footer to PDFs using PDF element for Mac OS. So in this part, we will go over a simple method of adding headers and footers using PDF element for Mac OS. So first launch PDF element by double clicking on the icon on your home screen. Then open a PDF document by going to open file and selecting it from its folder location. Once you have your document opened, in order to add the header and footer, go into the tools tab and then select add or edit header and footer. Next from the bar at the top, select add header and footer and then click on the plus icon on the panel on the right side. So this will pop up this window in which you can first choose where you want your header to appear. So for example, let's add it to the left corner. I'm going to type in Wondershare and I'm going to change the position of the header by going to the layout section and using the arrow keys to adjust it. You can also make the font larger and change the color of your header. Next, to add the footer, you can go into the layout tab, go into the left footer text and input your text for your footer. So I'm going to type in PDF element. Once again, I'm going to adjust the positioning of it. Move it a little bit lower and then slightly to the left and then click save. So you can see that both the header and the footer have been applied to the document. Now you just need to click apply in order for the header and footer to be applied to all of the pages of your document. 
If you want to make any changes to your header and footer, you simply have to go into edit header and footer, select it from the window and click on the edit tab where you'll have this window once again where you can change your font types, your positioning and so on. Be sure to save all of your changes by going into file and clicking on save as, then choosing the folder location and clicking save. And here's a pro tip, if you're a PDF element for macOS user, you can actually take advantage of the batch process and apply headers and footers to multiple PDFs at once. Follow these steps on how to do it. If you want to add headers and footers to multiple PDFs, go into the batch process on the opening screen. Click on batch PDF on the home screen, then go down to add header and footer. Click on this add button to add your files. You can then create a new header and footer template, or you can choose an existing one then click apply and choose a folder locations for your files with the header and footer applied to be saved to. And if we open one now, you can see that the header and footer have been applied. Now let's go into the bonus part. Bonus method, how to add a logo or an image to the header or footer in a PDF document. This part will be particularly useful for those of you who run their own businesses and want to customize your PDFs to show your company logo. Unfortunately, at the moment, there is no way in PDF Element to insert an image or a logo into the header and footer directly. But I will show you two ways of how to get around it. The first method is to add an image. So first you need to open your PDF file by going to Open Files, selecting your PDF from its folder location. So the first method of adding a logo is to go into the Edit tab and click on Add Image. Then select your logo from its folder location and simply position it on the page where a header should be. So the downside of this method is that you will have to repeat this process for every single page of your document, which is very time consuming. So what you can do instead, if you have a lot of pages, use the second method, which is to add a watermark to your document. So the second method is, is to go into the edit tab and click on watermark and then click on add watermark. From here, you can click on the create icon to choose either text, PDF file or an image to add to your document. So I'm going to click on add image and then select my logo from its folder location. So you can see that it has been added here across the page. So now we just have to customize the position by going to appearance, changing the rotation and then going to position and positioning it on top of the page. So you can use the arrow keys to position your text. You can also scale it down by going to proportion of pages and reducing the scale. In the appearance section, you can also change the opacity. So for example, we can set it to 75% so that it just appears a little bit fainter on top. Once you're happy with the appearance and position of your watermark, click save and then click apply to apply it to every single page of your document. So this is the end of our tutorial. I hope that you found this video useful. If you have any questions regarding this video, PDF element or PDFs in general, feel free to drop them in the comment section below and someone from our PDF element team will try to answer them best as they can. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the PDF element channel for more videos like this one. We make lots of useful PDF tutorials to help you improve your productivity. Whatever PDF issue you might be facing, simply search for it on our channel and you might find the answer to it. If not, then don't hesitate to leave us a comment and we might make a video about the solution you are looking for. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.